It's the shop that promotes itself as being cheap. But Wendy, Emma and Paul want you to know just how cheap they think the reject shop is. The three managers claim they're owed thousands in unpaid overtime. Their message? See you in court. If you had a dollar for every hour you did overtime that wasn't paid for, you'd be a millionaire. I give 110% into that place. Emma's worked at the reject shop for 15 years. I used to work anywhere from 50 to sometimes 80 hours a week. I just wanted to be home with my family and I was absolutely exhausted. Once a store manager, Emma's now a casual employee. And like many of her colleagues, the young mum says she's been shortchanged. I also see how hard it is for them day in and day out to have to you know, work really hard just so they can provide for their families. And it is, it's really hard. The harder you worked, the less you got, I think. Now retired, Wendy dedicated 33 years to the reject shop, 20 of them as manager. There's a lot of extra hours, a lot of extra hours. If the work wasn't done, you just had to stay back till it was done. While you're there doing all that overtime, what, what's it costing you at home? A cranky husband. My husband used to ring me up and say, you need to come home because you don't own the company. You only work for them. You've got to stop doing so many hours. Wendy says the low-cost operator's wage budget often meant she had to work weekends instead of her casual staff. By the time Friday came, if you hadn't done the sales, um, they cut your hours right back. They should wake up to themselves. Wendy's husband, Terry, is pretty cranky. They ain't supposed to work all them hours and not get paid for it. That's crazy. They should be paid for it. The Reject Shop, a publicly listed company, made more than $788 million in revenue last year, with a profit of almost $8 million. Adaro acts for these everyday Australians in their fight for justice to make sure that they are given what they're due. Adaro Law's Andrew Chakrabarty is leading a class action against the discount retailer in the federal court. It's alleged the company underpaid up to 1,200 managers, between $10,000 and $40,000 each. We have requested the employment records from the reject shop and it appears that on their own records, the reject shop should have been aware that there was an underpayment. Andrew, how are you going? Nice to meet you. Paul worked his way up to senior manager over almost 15 years. It was all about chasing the dollar, chasing the sales and keeping the shareholders happy. Hardly getting a meal break, Paul says one year he logged the hours he worked. 350 extra hours, close to 400 extra hours for that one particular year between 2018 and 2019. It does not make sense as to why these people had to work the hours that they did and if they had to, why they were so grossly underpaid. In a statement, the reject shop says... The reject shop has consistently committed that if there has been any under-award payments to team members, this will be corrected. The reject shop is unable to comment further on the class action commenced by Adero Law, as the matter is now before the Federal Court of Australia. I just hope the reject shop takes us a moment to step back and go, OK, hang on, we did get this wrong. We're not university trained for the most of us, we're just average mums and dads and it would mean the world to most of us. It's not a third world country for God's sake, you know, it's Australia. Start treating us properly, like we matter because we do.